Hopscotch, here we come. Here it is, all our crazy characters. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Well, if you'd like to create an account, you may. You can create an account and you can store all of your projects into your account. So for example, me, the bottom right down here, I created an account, Pelican Tacos, that's me. And here are all of my projects. So these are all the different things that I have worked on in the past. And you will be creating your own projects here shortly too. All right, let's do the first thing here, create a new project. What would I like to do? Cool Trails, Monkey Run, or Tricksters? I think I wanna do a blank project can do a lot of crazy and cool things with this. Let's just jump right in it, all right? Let's see, here we go. We can do some different animals here. We can do a tree, a bird, Mr. Mustache, oh, Mr. Purple Gorilla. Let's do it, let's drop him in here. This is the guy that we actually want to use to create our drawings or create our games or anything that we're gonna be using hopscotch. So let's do it. We can give the gorilla a new rule, like gorilla, sit, sit, gorilla, sit. Ah, he doesn't really like that, does he? Nope. We haven't given a rule yet, so let's do that. A rule is a specific ability that we want to do. So, for example, we can do it when the project is started, when the gorilla is tapped, when the iPad screen is tapped. So let's do it when the project is started. That's probably the most more likely thing that you'd be able to do. Now, from here, what we can do is we can drag our blocks over. So let's do that. We have things like movement. We can move. We can rotate. We can draw. We can move with the trail. We can repeat. Wait. We can grow by, shrink by, set invisibility, and we can create variables down there called values. Now here's a couple different things that we can make our gorilla just draw a triangle. Let's do that. If we just do that, we hit plus and boom, our gorilla draws a triangle. Wow, that was super easy. I didn't even have to do anything with that. But let's do it. Let's, we can go inside and we can edit it. So let's make it, let's do one on our own. Let's have our gorilla draw a square for us. Let's do that. Okay, and we want him to move with a trail. That leaves, he leaves behind something. Maybe banana peels or something. I don't know, what is he gonna leave behind? All right, so we're gonna move him 300. And then to draw a square, if you think about it, we're gonna have him rotate. We come in here and rotate 90 degrees. Now, let's just see what happens. He moves, rotate, boom. Okay, so he's doing exactly what we wanted. We want him to move again, right? Now, we don't want move, because that will make it move without a trail. He won't leave his banana peels behind. We'll do 300 again. There. We'll hit start. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, he's moved. Now, he's going to go off the screen, so let's do this. Let's get out of here. Let's move our gorilla. Now, if you notice, when you click and drag, look. You know what those are? Those are X and Y coordinates. Your iPad screen is an X and Y graph. Did you know that? Pretty awesome. It's pretty cool how math works into computers all the time. So let's put it right here at x is 426 and y is 175. For those of you who don't know, these are the x and y coordinates of the iPad screen here. And it has to do with the distance in pixels. There are, I think, like 1024 pixels this way and 768 or 7, 800 pixels that way. All right. So it's the number of pixels up and down. So let's put it right there. So when the project is started, we want him to move with a trail. And we want him to rotate, and we want him to move the trail again. So let's do that again. So we'll click here, rotate, 90 degrees. We're going to go down here again. I just tap on it, and it goes right in, which is really nice. You don't have to click and drag, so, but if you do, you, you can. Boom. Oh, no, we didn't want that. We'll get rid of that. And notice, to delete, all you do is just move and drag. We'll do the rotate. I'm making a square, so how many of these do we need? One, two, three. We need four of them. And this should get us there. So boom, let's hit start. Woo, move in, monkey, move in, gorilla. Oh, what happened there? Too short. Ah, I moved it for 90. Needs to be 300. See, the nice thing about this is my gorilla's not going to like starve to death or run off the screen. It's pretty awesome. All I have to do is just go back to edit and I can tinker with it. Now, let's look at this and see exactly what we can do, because we can make this process a lot easier. It's a square, right? So there's four sides. One, two, three, four. There's four of them. So if I go down to control flow, put in a repeat, and I want to repeat this process four times. Now, do I want him to move 300 four times? Yes, but I also want him to rotate. So boom. So if I get rid of that, and that, and that, and that, and that. Oh, nope, not that. We want to repeat the time for process four times because it's a square. So let's do that. Here we go. We're going to repeat it four times. Move 300, rotate 90. We're doing that four times. Is it going to work? Oh, 
Yes! Good job, Purple Gorilla! You were rocking! All right, that is great, 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 great. Now, under drawing, if we hit more, we can set our line color. Look at that. I can set our line width. Look at that. And I can do it random as well, too, if I wanted to do pixels. So let's do like 30. And then let's see, here we go. Oh, it's green. And now if we edit, play again, it's going to be a different line width. Do it again. A different line width. It's hard to tell. It's easier if we do with the colors. So we come in here, let's do random colors. And then it'll be a different color. Boom, come back and do it again. Boom, boom. Awesome. Look at that. Now what we can do, let's, this is really cool. If we come in here, let's make this only like 100. And we can set his speed under appearance. No, we cannot. It's not under there. Where is it? Under movement. Set speed. We're going to set his speed to super fast. Super, super fast. Super duper duper fast. Here we go. Let's see how fast he goes. Super fast. Good job, Gorilla. All right, so what we're going to do now, this is going to be a lot of fun. We're going to make this square repeat. We're going to repeat this square. And we're going to set the line width and the line color randomly each time. So what we've done is put a repeat inside of a repeat. And let's just say we're going to do it, oh, I don't know, repeat it 100 times. And we're going to rotate after that. We're going to rotate it a little bit more. And this will be really super cool. Here we go. 36 degrees every time. He's going to repeat it. Uh, actually, let's do this. Let's do 10 to make it nice and neat. Boom. Ready? Here we go. Oh, look at that. Pretty machine. It's doing random colors every time. Look at that. How neat is that? So we're going to repeat the process. Let's do 36 and let's rotate 10 times. So now we'll have 36 boxes. Look at that. How cool is that? He just keeps going and going. He's a working gorilla. Good job, man. Working like crazy. So you can do a lot of cool creations with this. This is really, really neat. You can use it for drawing. You can use it for controlling your character. You can make him move. But this, for the most part, is what you're doing with Hopscotch. You're creating all of these characters and making some sweet, sweet creations. For example, here are my initials. If I've done this, it makes my initials over and over again and over and over again. Pretty cool. Mesmerizing. I love it. <laughs> All right. So let's see what else we got. Uh, this is pretty cool. All right. This is a monkey. We've set the invisibility of the monkey to zero. And let's watch this as it unfolds. And there it is. Look at that. Pretty awesome, huh? Are you hypnotized? Yes. All right. It worked. So this is a really, really cool art design that you can do. And look at the code of this. The code in here is not that long. Look at that. It's a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight commands there. All just to do that. Not very difficult. Has to do with the amount of degrees that you're rotating the shape over and over again. But really, really cool, isn't it? A lot of, lot of fun. So this is Hopscotch. Create as many projects as you want. Mess around with it. You can create apps. You can create games. If you wanted to even do some sort of mystical game here, with you could create Miss Cupcake. And I have made it so that when I rotate and tilt, the cupcake moves back and forth. And now she could dodge all of the bad guys that are on the screen as they move around randomly, trying to catch Miss mm, Cupcake. Oh, mm, yummy, yummy, yummy. We want to eat the cupcake. No, run, run, run. <laughs> but you can imagine all of like, you know, having the purple gorilla chase her, move her around, and she could go around and collect stars and things like that, which is really, really cool. So for example, if we want to add more, you can come in here and add text. We'll put it up here. We'll give the text a new rule when the iPad, when the project is started, it's going to be visible. And we're going to make it just like that. And we can also change, should we come here, give it a new rule. And when the project is started, 
we're going to show appearance down here. Set invisibility to zero. That means she's going to show. And so that one's good, just like that. If you wanted to show the preview, you can hit play there and you can hide the preview and show for it, which is really, really cool. All right. So if we click on that guy, click on the gears. Can we open? We can delete. We can give it a new rule. Now, can we rename it? There we go. If you tap on the text name, it will rename. And one of the neat things is if you go into emoji, if you have the emoji set up, you can do like a star, for example. I wanted a star. So if I want this cupcake to be the star, we can do that. So when we can also do this, when bumps into cupcake, when she bumps into cupcake, the appearance is going to set the invisibility to 100. It's going to go away. So let's do it. She's going to go over. And she's going to click the star. Go, Cupcake, go. Boom! We've collected the star. Pretty awesome, huh? Yeah, that's really cool. And if we wanted to create another bad guy in here, we could put something in there like Mr. Purple Gorilla. He's our bad guy. And let's do a new rule. So when the project is started, he's going to move 10. Let's do a random distance from 1 to 100. Let's do 1 to... F let's do like 10, 1 to 10. And we're going to repeat this process over and over again. We're going to rotate at a random degree. So we'll come down here. Random. From 1 to 360. All right. And it's going to repeat five times. And so he's going to he's rotating. It's probably not exactly what we want to do, but we do want to move him. Let's do this 100. We'll have him move a little farther. So he moves, and then he goes, rotates, boom, boom. He's moving around, and we can do that over and over again. So I'll have him do it 100,000 times. Boom. And we've got to stop. Ah, run, run. Get away from the gorilla. No. Go. Go. <laughs> All right, so here it is. So you want to go get the star before the gorilla comes after you, and you can imagine if there were more than one gorilla, your life would be in danger. All right, this is Hopscotch, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can see some great possibilities with this. You can do so many cool things. Like watch this gorilla go dizzy and dizzy and dizzy. All right, guys, enjoy.